By default, when you create your scorecard, we create one basic landing page for you. You can go in and edit that landing page. It's nice and easy to change logo, position and size and change any of the text on the page. You can also upload images or use our free image search. So if I just search for fitness, you can see there's some great photos. You can just select those, hit save, and that's the page changed. There's also some other settings up here in the settings tab. You can go and change the font family and the heading font size, body family and body font size. This is independent of the branding settings that are used throughout the rest of your scorecard. So if just for this particular page you need to tweak settings, you can do that independently there. And the same with colors. So you've got heading text color, body text color, and background color. There's a few other things like CSS, if, you've, if you wanna change things more specifically and you've got more advanced skill set with CSS, you can do that there. And scripts as well, you can add if you've got, say, tracking pixels or something that you wanna run just on this page specifically, they can go in there. Chances are though, that you might want to add a slightly longer page that describes your scorecard and, and how it works and what your leads are gonna get in a bit more detail. So to do that, you can just click add landing page up here and choose from one of our other designs. If I go into this design, for example, you get asked to put a title on the page. This is more just for your reference and, and doesn't really display show anywhere so you can just call it you can just call it anything you want new page for example and you can see that it's brought in the branding logo and colors and fonts that we set previously but there's a lot more in terms of sections here for me to edit so you can click on any of the sections and you get all of the relevant settings on the left hand side. And you can upload images, change the text, change the background color of the sections, refer back to defaults. You can drag and drop these sections around so that they show up in any order. You can hide them if you're just still working on some of the set or some of the settings and some of the content. You can just hide that for the time being. Um, or if you know that you don't need to use it, then there's the remove button there as well, and you can completely remove a section. You can also click to add other sections. Um, it might be that you want two or three rows of logos. You can go and add that section multiple times. When you're happy with your page, you can hit save, you can preview it through the front end, so outside of the application as your leads will see it. You can also view it in mobile view right here within the page builder. And when you are ready for it to go live, next thing to do is to hit the publish button. So now that will be publicly viewable through the front end of your scorecard. But if we just dive out here, you can see that the original basic landing page um, is still essentially the default landing page. And that's what would be accessible by just the default URL and this one is new page. So you can click on that and you get it, get the URL like that. Now you can use it like that. You can have multiple landing pages live at the same time and you can be driving people through to the default page. You can be driving people through to the new page you create. Obviously if you're gonna do that, then you, you might wanna just call it something slightly better um, and you can go in and edit that under the settings 
under general, you can change the URL here. Um, but if you want your new page to be the default page, you've got the option here just to make it default. You can see that that's switched the URLs around. Now, if I go back to this page, for example, and just refresh, then you've got the, the new page there.